just too dangerous with too many pedestrians, too many red lights, and too many opportunities to cause serious harm, even death, to innocent bystanders. Again, this is uh, Polk westbound from the Foothill Freeway. We're through Silmar at speeds appear to be about 60, maybe 65 miles per hour, getting sandwiched in now. Westbound Polk, this is San Fernando Road, now driving on the wrong side of the road to do all he can to get away from police officers. This is extremely de uh, dangerous, potentially deadly right now for innocent bystanders, uh, not to mention for the guy inside that car right now. And you can look at that car, that Chevy Tahoe. You can see all about the car. The windows are very heavily tinted, and that's a problem for police officers. All they know is there's one guy on board, one suspect on board, and the only uh, description we have of that suspect, bald, shave-headed, bald, uh, apparently a adult male, perhaps. That's not actually confirmed. But one person on board. There could be more people on board. Oftentimes, there are hostages on board during these pursuits. So CHP officers and L.A. County Sheriff's deputies, they're going to have to keep a little bit of their speed. There's the crash. Polk wow. westbound, not far from San Fernando Road. T-bone that pickup truck. There's a suspect getting out of the car, and I can tell you, just behind him, there are police officers. There's nowhere to run if he doesn't comply. He's in a little bit of trouble, but he is going to make a run drunk. for it, and police officers are literally just 100 yards away. Now, he's going to be running eastbound on Polk. We'll open up the shot to show you how close police officers are, and in just a moment, they're going to be tackling him up over a fence into a residential area in somebody's backyard right now. By all means, if you live in Silmar, stay indoors. You might hear all the activity outside. It sounds exciting, but it's extremely dangerous. We don't know a lot about that suspect other than he's a grand theft auto suspect and that suspect may have been involved in some kind of a robbery in the Santa Clarita Valley in Valencia sometime this afternoon. He did wind his way down Interstate 5 into the San Fernando Valley. He's between two homes right now, between an alley. He's being lit up by a police helicopter overhead and he may be approaching somebody else in the driveway right there and this is a uh, uh, yeah, a real dangerous situation. Police officers are very nearby. There's a door in that driveway of the back alley he just ran through, and there looks like a homeowner right there, a resident who's walking outside. That's not him at the bottom of the screen. That's actually somebody. There's the suspect. Looks like he's trying to carjack that vehicle right now. Looking inside, doesn't see any keys. I'm not sure if that's actually the no, suspect no, now. No. He was wearing he a white may have made uh, shirt, He did make a run for it. Yeah, and a shaved head, a bald-headed uh, gentleman, appeared to be rather large, and it's going to be a real ch uh, real chore here for police officers. Looks like some folks in the backyard are telling police officers, uh, oh, no, actually, he's talking to the suspect right there. There he is. The guy on your left there right is. there, that big, bulky fellow with a shaved, bald head, wearing a black shirt and jeans, walking very calmly in somebody's front yard. Looks like he's trying to get out of that front yard without the full knowledge, perhaps, that CHP officers or L.A. County Sheriff's deputies or LA uh, LAPD carrying? officers from the uh, Foothill Station are nearby. Yeah, no one knows what he's carrying. He's making a run for it. These three people really should get right back indoors right now. They're putting themselves in harm's way. Uh, this could be a very armed and dangerous suspect, but police officers, they have the entire area surrounded right now. They're trying to make their best bet to approach that guy and bring this to a peaceful conclusion, but he is on the run, and these homeowners need to get back inside, lock the doors, and let police officers take care of their business. Mm -hmm. Here he is again right now. Police officers are most likely communicating with this guy right now. He's coming back over to Polk. He crashed on Polk not far from San Fernando Road, hit a truck, and then uh, made a run for it into somebody's yard, through their backyard, through a back alley, and now, as you can see, Mark and Michelle just walking very calmly Where westbound on Polk and not far from San Fernando. Now, we're not going to tilt up too far to show you police behind him. Uh, they're not too far behind, but now he's making a run for it again. Looks like northbound from Polk. We're we'll trying to find out that surface street he's making a run for right now. Holding some kind of a bag, but uh, unfortunately, you see how big and bulky that T-shirt is. You saw the uh, L.A. County Sheriff's helicopter overhead. Here CHP you. officers right behind him, and here's where they're going to make that tackle in just a second. He's got to comply with police officers. We're going to have a real serious problem. Trace, pan your camera to the left. Immediately to your left, take off the suspect, move away from the suspect. Okay, let's go back to the suspect. Looks like there may have been almost a uh, possibility for exchange of gunfire. He wasn't complying, but he is now. Officers have their gun drawn. They're on top of that suspect. They're trying to get him to comply. It looks like he is complying. And now the hands behind his back, they'll have him handcuffed, and this pursuit will be over in just a couple.